girls are the top 10 athletes in the United States. Um, some of them have been swimming since they were seven years old. Um, our youngest swimmer just turned 21 on Monday. Uh, I think our oldest swimmer is about 27 years old, so their average age is in college age. Um, many of them have given up their college scholarships. There are scholarships for synchronized swimming in the United States. Many of them have graduated from prestigious universities, Ohio State, uh, Stanford, um, Incarnate Word. There are girls from all over the country um, on this team. They've given up their scholarships so that they can train full-time uh, the national team in hopes of pursuing their Olympic dreams. It's been amazing. This is um, everyone on the team's first trip to Ireland, so that's just first of all like a really cool experience to be here. And ever since we got here, everyone has been so welcoming and so um, just so excited to have us here. We had people greet us at the hotel when we got there. We had Easter presents in our room when we got home from practice on Monday. And um, I started synchro when I was six, so 16 years, <laughs> long time. Most people started around like six to ten years old. Well, when we're all young, we're on clubs because it's not really in um, schools, in like high schools, uh, except for some, a very few states. So most of it is club teams, and then through there you can get recruited to universities, and there you can get scholarships. But um, on national teams, there's like a stipend that helps help us get through since we don't don't have time to get jobs because we train, you know, eight to ten hours a day. It was bleeding around to the sea. It was bleeding around to the sea. It was bleeding far on that day. So I ran to the river. It was boiling around to the sea. It was boiling around to the sea. Most of it is in the pool, but we also do uh, land training, like weights, and um, we like uh, we land. It's called land drilling our routine outside of the water, and you match with like match your strokes or what you need out of the water. So it's 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 a full time job. It's what we do all day. That's all we do. There's a speaker, that's how we hear the water, uh, the music underwater. It's very helpful and we count we we count to the music but um, yeah there's an underwater speaker and without that it'd be really difficult. Here um, there's something special and they have an opportunity. I hear girls practicing on the other side of where we're standing. Uh, they have an opportunity to leave a synchronized swimming footprint here. We'd really like to have more synchronized swim teams across the world, and this is an opportunity to leave a footprint here in, in Ireland. I mean, it's just crazy. Our team manager, before we left, sent us an email just reminding us, like, remember back to when you were a little kid and you looked up to those famous synchronized swimmers, and now you're it. I mean, this really is all of our, like, childhood dreams coming true. Like, we... I know I had the 96, the 2000, and the 2004 signed Olympic posters above my bed, and it's, it's just crazy to think that now that's me for little kids now. It's just, I mean, it's a dream come true to be here.